how to's, it can become a really daunting task. Um, we've talked about this in the past, but having checklists is really helpful when it comes to these how to's and you describe checklists really well as not, they are not two pages long checklists. It's like they're not instructions yeah. and, on how to do so it. So why don't you get give they, us your they, checklist spiel, Martin? Key, I don't yeah. often ask for you to give us your spiel, but to give us the checklist spiel. <laughs> well, I don't. I don't have that one just routinely memorized. But if bullet points are more or less the name, you have to manage the project, right? right? That, there's your bullet point. You're responsible for bringing this on budget, on time. Yeah, you know. Well, it, but, completely. But I think a big one that that's, you talk about is like when you're on the job, like when you when you get it to the to the truck, oh no, you have that team meeting. You have the four things that hey, is is the gas? No, that's where, that's where I'm, that's where I'm going. Okay. The, the the next step underneath that are some sub processes like monthly scrum meeting, right? right? Yeah. Or not monthly tailgate meeting. Yeah. And then you have four or five things that are general topics that you discuss. I mean, there's a great book on it, uh, Checklist Manifesto. But anyway, that you discuss. So you sit there and say, for guys going to a job, say, do we have the address? And you're looking at four people, right? And four people have to go, yes, when if you don't, right? And you drive off and you don't have the address, what the hell? Uh, do we have the materials that we need? You know, do we have the key, key uh, gate key, you know, what? Anyway, uh, there will be four or five, m at most 10, I mean, four or five yeah. general areas that you touch on with everybody's attention every morning. Do we have the safety equipment? Do we have gas for the generators? Uh, but or, you wouldn't say, do I have gas for the generators? Or do we have the generator? Do I have gas? Do I have the legacy? Are the generators ready to go? Right. And it's not just you looking, it's everybody looking. Yep. And something about that group effort. So that's an intermediate step. Yep. Uh, where you use checklists to remind you, and of course, any project manager understands checklists probably better than anybody yeah. else. I don't know what they teach when they teach that as they do in construction management, but it has to be. Something. It's got to be somewhere. You know, it's just got to be check, check. What's the story of the surgeon that like reduced surgery? Oh, that's in that book. That's in that book. Um, it was something like he, there was one question that they would ask. And it's like 80%. Well, they had maybe four, I don't know. What? Well, I had, I broke my thumb here a year or two ago and surgeon comes in and I know the guy and we're just talking, you know, and all the while he pulls my hand out from under the covers and he goes, this is a thumb, right? And I said, yeah. And he signed his name on it and they do that. I've had two other surgeries with this guy and he signed my shoulder and he signed my hip. Right. So like, really, you're going to, he said, Hey, it happens. Right. <laughs> Simple. Simple. But that's one of their process yeah. in that book. Uh, checklist manifesto is about reducing uh, iatrogenic deaths, the deaths caused by being in the hospital. Mm. Uh, and it was childbirth, all these things. When they put the checklist in on certain things, they reduced the deaths by like 85, 86%. It's crazy. And he gives lots of examples about they have to have a bag of blood of the right type. And he tells me about this guy. Well, if I hit an artery, we're going to need it. I'm not going to hit an artery. Well, this lady, one of the nurses says, I don't think so. And they checked and they had the wrong blood type. They went and got the right blood type and he sliced into an artery and they needed it. And if they hadn't had it, the guy would have died. That's crazy. Right? So, Hospital scare me, man. Anyway, it's that, it's that kind of thing. Yeah. yeah. Just simple five minute checklist where everybody who's on the team just says, yes, we do. Yes, we, and if you don't, there's a shared responsibility. Yeah shared group pressure like what the hell guys yeah nobody noticed the generator wasn't on the truck and i asked the question yeah well and i right? think even just by thinking through that checklist before doing your how to's it really makes you think about the areas that are really important that can even be overlooked in a how to because the checklist if you really think about it gives you the why behind each like hey do we have the generator do we is the generator ready well, there's a lot of things that are involved there, but why do we need the generator ready? Well, because power could go out or we don't have supply here and then we can't do the job. We've got to come back and get all this stuff, whatever it is. Then you can go into your how-to with a lot of clarity when you're discussing and you're making the video and walking around the job. You don't just reference something. You say, hey, these are the five really important areas of this and why they matter, and here's how you're going to do it. 
And I think that's always valuable for people when they're watching a how-to, not just to watch you going through a process, but to understand why the process matters, what's critical to understanding the process, and then going into the how to actually go through the process.